everybody, it is Julie from Pages and Pens, and I'm here today with my Ravenclaw scarf, which is making me a little too warm. A very, very loud washer in the background because I live in an apartment building and that's just the way things happen. I'm gonna take this off because I also want you to see my Christmas jumper. It's Hogwarts at Christmas. I love it so much. It's got the Hogwarts H on it. Hold on one second. Lumos, my floating Hogwarts candles totally light up. It is the most fun thing ever. Let's jump right into my Christmas at Hogwarts Magical Readathon TBR. So this is hosted by G over at Book Roast. I adore her. She is legitimately the sweetest, nicest person in the whole wide world. And this one goes, I believe, from the 17th to the 26th. I have all the challenges. I also will put the little like map that she's created for putting together your TBR. I'll put that up here because I don't have a printer so like I can't hold it up for you but I'll put it up here in case you want to join in. You have to follow like the footsteps on the map to different challenges and do the things that you would like to do at Hogwarts during the holidays to establish your TBR and I have done that already so I already have my TBR set up it's just a matter of following the footsteps and I'm gonna let you know what everything is so first up everybody starts at finish your coursework and this is gonna be finishing whatever book you're currently in the middle of reading I don't know what that's gonna be yet I am doing smutathon directly before that so it could be a smutty book I will most likely have that count for the Lion, the Witch, and the Wardrobe, The Chronicles of Narnia by C.S. Lewis. This is what I'm starting on the 17th anyway as a buddy read with Mel from Mel to the Any with the hashtag BRNarnia. We will be reading this for three days, the 17th, 18th, and 19th. The page breakdown is up on Twitter, but it is chapters 1 through 6 on the 17th, 7 through 11 on the 18th, and 12 to the end on the 19th. So this will be one that I am starting on the 17th and finishing like you guys know I probably do like a little bit of a cheaty cheat so this is probably what I'm going to count for that um and then from there you can travel I believe two different directions and either help Hagrid decorate the tree which is a book with gold details or you can have a snowball fight with the Weasley twins and that is a book that you think will be humorous I'm going to go with gold details on the cover and for that it is going to be an enchantment of ravens look at that bronzy gold detail down here um i don't know she's got gold in her hair it's like very bronzy goldy on here i am excited for this this is a fae story it's in here backwards it's upside down just shy of 300 pages and it is fae based so i feel like i'm gonna be able to just fly through this and really enjoy it it's one that i want to get to anyway so i'm pretty stoked on this one and then from there, everybody meets back at the Three Broomsticks for a glass of mulled pixie wine. And for this one, we're going to read a book that you think you can read in one day. For that, it's going to be a graphic novel. I have a couple that are out for me right now. I have Heavy Vinyl. I have Snot Girl. Um, but I might take out something else if there's something like holiday themed. So if you have like a holiday wintry themed graphic novel, let me know. But uh, that will be a graphic novel read for me whatever graphic novel that is. From the three broomsticks, we split off and I believe we have three different options that we can go to. Yes, we do. We can exchange presents in the common room, which is featuring a book featuring friendships, or we can sneak into the kitchen and gift Dobby odd socks, which would be to read a book that has an item of clothing on the cover, or we can attend the Yule Ball, which is a book that you've been preparing for. For me, I'm going to use the Bear and the Nightingale, which also has gold accents on the cover, and a challenge option that I think is coming up soon, but hasn't yet. So, um, I've always adored the Yule Ball scenes, and I that's just what I want to be doing. So I will be doing this. You guys know I'm really nervous about it, but it's wintry. It's like perfect for this time of year. And I feel like this is going to be like the right kind of vibes for me. So I believe the way that this readathon works is that you can't double up and you also have to stay in order. So this will be one that um, I just have to get to if I want to win at this readathon and I really want to win at this readathon. So I'm going to make this happen. I'm nervous about it. I've been preparing for a while. And we're going to see how this one turns out in the end. Could also potentially be one that I 
fit in and like start a little early to give myself a head start and it might be the one that I just finish at the beginning but I feel like maybe not I feel like maybe closer to the end of the readathon would be wiser for me but we'll see and then from there we do a couple of things so from my yule ball I can only do two things I can either whoa wear the invisibility cloak to the restricted section which would be to read a banned book or bring a festive treat to Hedwig at the Owlery and read a book with an animal on the cover title or series name which would technically count for the enchantment of ravens the bear and the nightingale the lion the witch and the wardrobe literally any of these would already count for that challenge but you can't double up so what are you going to do? I will be reading Earthsea, The Wizard of Earthsea, which has a giant hawk, eagle on the cover. This is a fantasy novel that got gifted to me by Sydney uh, for my birthday and I haven't gotten it to it yet. And it is under 250 pages and I just, um, I really want to read it. So I think this is going to be the great time, to, a great time to do that. The last thing will be to attend the Christmas feast. Hopefully you're excited too. And uh, we're going to just finish off 2018 real right. But that's it for this video. If you liked it, do give me a big thumbs up, click subscribe, and I will see all of you in the next one. Bye, guys.